In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Each day we are being asked to serve the Lord. Are we willing to accept Jesus' teaching and promises so that we may enter the kingdom of God? Jesus, your words are spirit and life. Guide us in the ways of our Heavenly Father as we prepare now to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to give the, us the Father's teaching. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gather all to your wisdom and love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us the words of, every, of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together at Shechem. Then he called the elders, leaders, judges, and scribes of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Then Joshua said to all the people, If you will not serve the Lord, choose today whom you wish to serve whether the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are now living. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The people answered, We have no intention of deserting the Lord our God, who brought us and our ancestors out of the land of Egypt, the house of slavery, who worked those great wonders before our eyes and preserved us all along the way we travelled and among all the peoples through whom we journeyed. We too will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The Lord turns his eyes to the just 
and his ears to their appeal. Taste and see that the Lord is good. They call, and the Lord hears, and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, then whose spirit is crushed, he will save. And see that the Lord is good. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. He will keep God over all his bones. Not one of his bones shall be broken. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Evil brings death to the wicked. Those who hate the good are doomed. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. Those who hide in him shall not be condemned. And see that the Lord is good. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Give way to one another in obedience to Christ. Wives should regard their husbands as they regard the Lord. Since, as Christ is head of the church and saves the whole body, so is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church submits to Christ, so should wives to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives just as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with the form of words, so that when he took her to himself, she would be glorious with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that but holy and faultless. In the same way, husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man to love his wife is for him to love himself. A man never hates his own body, but he feeds it and looks after it. And that is the way Christ treats the church because it is his body and we are its living parts for this reason a man must leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two will become one body this mystery has many implications but I am saying it applies to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
After hearing his doctrine, many of the followers of Jesus said, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are Spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe and who it was that would betray him. He went on, This is why I told you that no one could come to me unless the Father allows him. And after this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? And Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life. And we believe, we know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. We are able to hear the words of Jesus. Thankfully, we are able to listen and to realize who Jesus is and what his work was and is and how he encouraged everyone to try to do the right thing. He encouraged the disciples especially. And that's why he said to them, when all the people deserted him, what about you? Do you want to go away too? And it was Simon Peter, of course, who says, And who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life. And we believe. We know that you are the Holy One of God. And that's why we're all here this evening. Because we believe. Mind you, with the numbers, we might think that many have read this gospel beforehand and decided not to come. But no, what is happening is of course that the Maram, the Mala Yalam community have had a retreat over the last three days. They had a big mass this afternoon and they are all going to Aylesford tomorrow. I don't know how many coaches, but there's quite a few going to take them. So they haven't, well, as far as I know, they haven't deserted us yet. But we, we're here because we believe in the words of Jesus. We believe that what he has told us, that we should try our utmost to follow. And St. Paul gives a wonderful example with the husband and the wife. The importance of the role that roles they both play to enrich their relationship not only with themselves but with their family and to encourage each other to always try to do good and that's what Jesus was telling these people if we remember what we read the gospel last week why they walked away was because some many of them found it difficult to follow. And for us, it can be hard at times, but our faith is strong enough 
for us to do our best and to continue doing what the Lord is asking of us. And in so doing, we can be sure that through the grace of revelation and the light of the Holy Spirit, it ceases to be a hard teaching. It is the gift of eternal life. As St. Pio says, in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, in this sacrament of love, we have true life, a blessed life, and true happiness, because in it we receive not only those graces that perfect us, but the very author of these graces. In other words, we receive Jesus himself. And it's in receiving Jesus himself that we are able to continue doing what he's asking of us and following him and giving time to him. That's the important thing. There's no point us coming here to church each week and then we do nothing at all for the rest of the week. No, we give time each day of our lives to let Jesus know we love him, to let Jesus know we need him, to let Jesus know we want to be with him, And in so doing, we are most certainly will be rewarded with the gift of heaven. So we stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, and through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried on the third her day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord has given us his words of spirit and life. Let us not be afraid to bring our needs before him. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Bishop Allen and all the bishops, that like Peter, they may continue to offer witness to Christ in an ever-changing world. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who choose 
to serve the Lord, that their vocation and ministry may be strengthened by Christ and bear much fruit for his kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who choose to reject God, that Christ and the church may reach out to them for compassion and charity. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those living in poverty, that the Lord may prompt us to tend to him through helping our brothers and sisters. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for God's beautiful creation, that the Lord will give us eyes to see all that he has made for us and care for it. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all our sick in the parish, especially Prayata Joseph, who is a young mother of two young children and is seriously ill in hospital. We pray also for Helen Hayes, Andy Brett, Jan Krangle. May they be comforted of the love of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. <clears throat> we pray for all who have recently died. We pray especially for Lady Sarah Ebekwe, the mother of Sister Mildred, who died last week. We also pray for all whose anniversaries occur this week, including Father Bernard Collins and Canon John Sloan. We ask you, Lord, to welcome them all into your kingdom. We pray, too, for the repose of the soul of Daniel Crangle, for whom we're offering this Mass. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. We ask Mary, our mother, to join with us in our prayers as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary mother, mother of God, God Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In silence, we turn to the Lord and pray for our own personal needs. Heavenly Father, out of love for humanity, you gave us Christ, your Son, that we might receive the fullness of life as we offer our prayers to you. We ask this through the power of your Holy Spirit, you remain ever present to your holy people and give us that which is in need, so to direct our lives in the ways of truth, for you are God, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. This is my body, broken for you, bringing you wholeness, making you free. Take it and eat it, and when you do, do it in love for me. This is my blood, poured out for you. Bringing forgiveness, making you free. Take it and drink it, and when you do, do it in love for me. Back to my Father, soon I shall go.
Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless thee, Lord, God of all creation. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities and cleanse us of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, who you gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed a man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all, all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night of betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and given you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael, St. Bartholomew, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, upon by divine teaching, we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who've joined us online. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, we believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if we're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day.
just pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect us and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. We sit down just for a moment, please. Coming towards the end of the holidays, so we're starting to think of the programs for next year. And the first communion program will begin on Saturday the 7th of September, 9.15, here in the church. And we hope that those who are should be preparing themselves to receive the First Holy Communion will come along on that day. We've only got four names so far from that year, so hopefully the, they're in year three now that they'll come along uh, on the 7th of September. And the parents, if you'd bring a copy of the baptism certificates, and if you can't find it, and the child is baptized here in this church, then we can, we can provide it. But otherwise, you'll have to try and get it from the parish where you had the child baptized. But it's important that we start this program with the full group, not with just one or two. Father Francis left us last Monday and we said goodbye for now to him, because we hope he'll come along again next year. He's gone back now to the seminary where over 200 seminarians a training to be priests. That is a fantastic number. Uh, our, ours, I'm afraid, uh, seminaries were two, three, I think, have closed in recent years because of the lack of support. So please pray for vocations in our own country. I remember as a child, a Benedictine priest telling us that one day it won't be people from priests from the United Kingdom going out on the missions it will be priests from the missions coming to the United Kingdom and that is most certainly happening at the moment and we have to thank God for that because otherwise we would be extremely short of priests so please pray for vocations to the priesthood in our own country especially in our own parish At the bottom of the inside page of your newsletters, there's a notice that says, please note that the Masses on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week will be said at 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock in the morning, as I'll be away for a short rest from Sunday evening to Wednesday afternoon. So that's the time the Masses will be at 8 o'clock. As I said, the shorter the priests and the priest who say in the Mass has to rush off to say another Mass in another parish. There are two pilgrimages next week. Uh, I th oh dear, I don't know if this is right now. I'll have to check this. It's because they're both were on... Oh no, sorry. There's one next week, and the other one's uh, is the week after. Sorry, my apologies. So, the, uh, uh, a, a pilgrimage to Walsingham. The, the coach will leave the town hall bus stop at seven o'clock next Sunday morning. And the cost is £30 return. You return it up about around the time of 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Donations for the organ, the, for, for the church organ, uh, will, can be collected after the Mass. We do ask you please to try. If you just give one pound each time you come back out the back of the church, it will help. The rest of the news is in the newsletter, so we stand, please, for the blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let's sing our final hymn, which is number 568. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hand has made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Verse 3 and 4. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, Sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee, how great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, What joy shall fill my heart When I shall bow In humble adoration And there proclaim My God, how great Thou art